Odds changing to four grass carts, changing to four mini motorcycles. The map, as usual, shows the route they'll be taking. Let's find out who'll be driving the quads. There's a new face to Super Champs. That's Scotland's Alan Reid. His dislikes include hard work. We've got a lot in common. Next to him, one of the Welsh Dragons, David Roberts. Looking like a Star Wars stormtrooper. That's Northern Ireland's Philip McCulloch. And on the end there, England's John Boy Bartha. Go! Away they go then on these quad bikes, which certainly resemble mini tractors, 185cc engines. And Philip McCulloch of Northern Ireland has got off to a flying start. John Boy Barford of England also up there, and David Roberts of Wales as they come around the first bend. And what a marvellous piece of driving there by England's John Barford around the outside and straight into the lead. I don't think that's going to please Northern Ireland's Philip McCulloch, who you may remember from the um, senior buggy race at the start of the show. He was kept from winning by Scotland's Gavin McLeod. Is John Barford going to do the same, Peter? Well, he took the long way round, but it was a tremendous piece of driving, and he's already established a bit of a lead there over Philip McCulloch. These two of the hottest properties around in Julia Motocross. And he's still leading now, looking round too. He's got time to look round. He's in a comfortable position at the moment, John Barford. Ahead of Philip McCulloch with David Roberts in third place and Alan Reid bringing up the rear at the moment for Scotland. So the race is on. We're now on our last lap. England's Barford is holding on. Around comes Northern Ireland's Philip McCulloch. Over the ridge they go for the final time. Is Wales's David Roberts or Scotland's Alan Reid going to make their move? Well, Philip McCulloch seems to have settled at least for second place. He glanced over his shoulder then to see where his Welsh rival was as they head now then for the changeover point. England's John Barthur hands his pennant over to Heather Newhouse. Philip McCulloch hands over to Adam Warwick and look at that, it really is very, very close as they tear away in these marvellous grass cars, or as we like to call them, boat shakers. And a marvellous <laughs> piece of driving by Adam Warwick on the inside puts Northern Ireland into the lead. That's the line-up then on the grass cart's leg. Northern Ireland leading, England second, Wales third with Amanda Hood and Louise McAllister there for Scotland in fourth place. Well, that's Savannah got a catch and a marvellous piece of driving by Northern Ireland. Adam Warwick has catapulted them into the lead. The breathing down their neck is England's little age. Heather Newhouse, around they come. They really do bounce around in these bone shakers, but all the youngsters fully protected, of course, in Super Champs on the land events. Full body armour, lead protectors, and helmets and face shields too. That's our leader, Boy Adam. That's what it looks like from the driver's point of view. That's Adam beginning his charge towards the changeover point. He's going to be handing over to one of Northern Ireland's strongest um, riders, Claire Richardson. Claire picks up the pennant. Oh. <laughs> Nearly dropped it, but she's managed to hold on to first place, and there's quite a scramble going on behind her for second place as Claire speeds away on her mini motocross bike, these 50cc fun bikes. And let's see how the field is shaping up behind her. Well, it's a cavalry charge at the moment and nothing really between these three. There's our leader, Northern Ireland's Claire Richardson. Could they get those four points? The battle is on for second place, though. And as you can see, Carl Stannard really is giving Nicholas Evans a run for his money. It's a tremendous race behind the leader, Claire Richardson. She's got still quite a healthy lead. As off, Nicky Evans nearly fell off then. Just managed to uh, keep his ground. Our back marker is Scotland's little rascal, Scott Thompson, as they come round the bottom bend. And Carl Stannard is flying oh. over that ridge. As you can see, he really is putting his foot down and he's taken Northern Ireland's Claire Richardson. He's come through and Claire now has been overtaken as well by Nicholas Evans. So the leader, as they come on the final lap, is Carl Stannard. And what a race we've got on here now. Even Scott Thompson has come through too. And Claire Richardson, having led earlier on, is now the back marker. What a VFM 3x4 relay, and it really is unbelievable what's happened to Northern Ireland's Claire Richardson. She seems to be going backwards. There's our leader, though. He certainly isn't. England's Carl Stannard, but putting on the pressure as they come round the top turn for the final time. Is it? Oh, wow, it's Nicky Evans has fallen over. Oh, bad luck to him. So, a win for England, and Nicky Evans of Wales. Well, he's back on his feet, and he's all right. The marshal's in quickly. Let's hear them from the winners. I forgot about the start, I didn't really see the flag, so I got off late. And in the first corner, it was like a bit of shambles, and as they was all on the inside, I kept the power on around the outside, and I just managed to get through. Heather, in the grass carts, how was yeah. that? All right. What was it? Was it bumpy out there? Yeah, Adam sort of smashed into the side of me. I had to go outside, so that's how we got past me.
What a marvellous 3x4, really. Anyway, England get four points from that. Wows, because Nicky Evans did finish. He went over the chequered flag. He gets three. Scotland get two. And Northern Ireland this time only get one. Right, we're going over now to the overall points table. Gordon the Gophers waiting for us. England have 54. Northern Ireland to 42. Scotland to 42. And Wales to 41. After the break, it's the junior ad goes. They have 